gonna be spending 24 hours in the world's most dangerous bed. Demonstrate how high up I am right now. I'm gonna drop a few things. And Matt, if you don't survive in the world's most dangerous bed, then you have to throw this mystery box with one of your most prized possessions over. And trust me, it's fragile. Are you sure this is a good idea? I need to overcome my fear of heights and stop midnight snacking. Zadie, dad's up here. Zadie and I are gonna be inside. She can't even see you that high. She has no idea. Okay, well I'm gonna put Zadie down for a nap and then I'll come out for a little bit. This is truly the world's most dangerous bed. I am up so high right now. Maybe around 60 feet, I'm not quite sure, but to demonstrate how high I am, I'm gonna drop this watermelon. Bon voyage. Whoa. That could have been me. Let's try some more. Next one. Giant water balloon. Pokementos. Ah! Oh! That's not what I expected. Hey Matt, how's it going? It's not going great. I'm trying to face my fear. This is terrifying up here. Okay, well, do you want any snacks or anything? I can send you something up there. I don't need snacks, I'm good. Thank you. Liam fam, he is obviously overcoming his fear of heights, but I have a feeling that Matt has snacks up there. He wants to stop his midnight snacking, so you know what? I'm gonna prove to you guys that he actually has some snacks. Hey Matt, you wanna play a game, like a challenge? I'm always up for a challenge. Well, we're gonna play Guess the YouTuber using only their voice. I am the best at this game. Game. Okay, good, because if you get the answer wrong, you have to remove a layer of clothing. What? No, I don't want to do that. I'm not taking off my clothes up here. Are you kidding me? Oh, but I thought you are really good at this game. I am really good. It's not like anyone's going to see those six-pack abs. Very funny. Just start playing the YouTubers. Matt, here is clip number one. Sam Sam, play along and comment below if you know who it is. More of the area, and the other half should keep organizing the inventory and building a shelter. All right, let's all go grab playing pieces. <laughs> Try to make it harder, Rebecca. That one's super easy. That's Mr. Beast. <laughs> Here's voice number two. As my friends are putting their actual lives on the line, I will be as well. Oh, come on, you're making this too easy. That is unspeakable. Actually, Matt, that was Preston. What? Which means you have to remove a layer of clothing. Not a problem. I got a shirt here I can take off. Oh, I have to stand up though. How's that fear of heights, Matt? You're pretty high up there. You're higher than our balcony. Don't remind me. Here oh gosh, go. that actually seems a little sus. It's rocking a little bit. I know. It kind of looks like it's gonna rain. Rebecca. Oh gosh. Okay, Matt, voice number three. Play. Everyone go hide. Everyone go hide. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, Rebecca. This is super easy. Just press in. <sighs> wow. You're really good at this game. Yes. You've gotten one of three right. That is wrong. <laughs> that was unspeakable. Zamfam, I hope you're playing along. Who knew that that one was unspeakable? I'm gonna go with the sock. If you're removing socks, you also have to remove the shoes. Shoes and socks. All of them. Ah. What? Sam Fam, I am confident that he is hiding snacks from me and I'm about to prove it to you guys. I just have to get him to remove a few more layers of clothing. Oh, I got confused. Here you go. One. Oh. Two. All of a sudden it smells kind of bad down here. All of a sudden it starts to smell really good up here. Let's get the next voice. I found the most spoiled kids in America and today my friends are going to have to say the voice yes in this. to this. I might have changed the voice a little bit. <laughs> nice try pitching the voice. That's Brett Rivera. You got that one correct. You got lucky. But I'm not done yet. You have two more to answer and a lot more clothes to lose. Why do you want me to take off my clothes? I'm already high up here. Because it's part of your fear of height. You've got to be not dressed well up high. <laughs> what? This sounds so weird. Uh, I'm playing the next Sam Fam, this one is backwards, but can you guess who it is? Why'd you put it backwards? I can't understand who it is. I thought you were really good at this game. I just wanted to switch things up a little bit. This is, oh, sounds just like, okay, I have to say, it's, it's Lanky Box, right? No, nope, that's the Dangy Bros. Take off that shirt, Matt. Dangy Bros, come on. Right now, we're about to find out if Matt has been hiding snacks up there. If he is, that means he wasn't trying to overcome that fear. You good, Matt? Yep, just having a hard time taking it off. Why? It's just a t-shirt. I know, I'm so high up though. Okay. Tank top. Wait a second, Matt. What? Oh, come on. You said you were midnight snacking. I'm not a midnight snacker. Oh, you tried to duct tape it? Oh my gosh, why is this shirt so sweaty? I knew you were hiding snacks. It's all junk food. Oh my gosh. He took down some snacks, but I feel like he has some more. Hopefully, he gets this last one wrong and we can see if he has any more snacks. Matt, how you doing? I'm facing my fear of maybe being naked and afraid now. Thanks a lot. Okay, Matt, pay attention to this voice. Hello, friends, it's me. You're changing the pitch again. Why would you do that? I pitched it down this time. It's like you want me to be naked and afraid up here. I kind of think it sounds like Sniper Wolf, but I'm gonna go with Azulane. Uh, Matt, I feel so bad for you because it was actually Sniper Wolf, which means you got that wrong. Remove a layer of clothing. I only have my pants left. Oh my goodness. Does he have a six pack abs drawn on? He's throwing down a normal pair of pants. 
That made a weird sound. I knew it. Wow, Matt, really? A Luna bar? Two Luna bars? I didn't even know you liked Luna bars. I don't like Luna bars. You know what? Enjoy your time up there because all your snacks are gone. I'm going in to check on Zadie. What? Rebecca. Enjoy the breeze. What am I supposed to do? 60 feet up, and I'm dangling right now with nothing on. Zane fam, comment down below. I'm having a hard time speaking right now because I'm trying to overcome my fear, and it's hitting me a little bit. I'm super high up, and I don't have any clothes on. I don't have a fear of that, but I do have a fear of not midnight snacking now. Hey, Matt. Well, yes. Do you want to get your clothes back? Of course. Great. Well, I have another challenge for you. It's the this or that challenge with these two buckets. Whatever you pick, get to pull up there. So there's buckets on the end of these ropes here? Yeah. All right, Matt, this or that? I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, pull it up. Let's see. I got the right one here. Zanfim, what do you think is in that bucket? Do you think he picked the right one? This feels kind of heavy for a piece of clothes, but maybe it's the bucket. Whatever's in the bucket, you have to put on or do. Oh, clothes, I get it. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Get ready to get my shirt back. What? No, hot sauce. Sorry, Matt, you lost out on your pants. Here we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God, so hot. I'm bringing it back down. Why would you do that? How is this helping me overcome my fear? It's not, but I'm saving the Zanfim from having to see you with no clothes on. Okay, I get you. Next round. One of these buckets has your tank top. The other one has a razor to shave your head. Shave my head? This or that, pick one. That might be bald today, you guys. No, wait, I don't want to shave my head. Go ahead and pick. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. Gosh, it's the longest rope in my life right now. Sam fam, comment below. What would Matt look like with a shaved head? Maybe a little bit like Z. See what we got here. Ooh, no way, Rebecca. Yeah! Tank top. This tank top's a little bit lighter than when I sent it down. Yeah, I took out all the snacks, obviously. Thanks a lot, Rebecca. Matt, I thought you were trying to overcome two fears, fear of heights and midnight snacking. It's not really a fear of midnight snacking. It's more of a lifestyle. Still confused. <coughs> that hot sauce, though. <coughs> Matt, is this or that? Can I pull him a little bit? You're either gonna get your shoes or something else. If he does not pick his shoes, he's not gonna want the other thing up there. The clothes have been in the right side every single time, so I'm gonna go with the right again. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he's not gonna like this one. Back. I've been up here eating hot sauce with no water. Thanks a lot. No way. Very funny, I asked for some water, but I didn't mean ice water. This is super cold. Oh no, that goes on your bed. You have to dump it on you. It's the ice bucket challenge. You kidding me? It could have been your shoes, but you chose wrong, this or that. Awesome. Well, you might be in the splash zone, Rebecca. Three, two. Wait, this is gonna get all over my bed. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cold. Hopefully you get the right one for the next round. Ugh. Why? Three, two, one. Woo -hoo. Oh my gosh, I am soaked and I'm cold. Woo! There's ice all over my bed. That is cold and hopefully he picks the right one because the next round's gonna be bad. Hope you're not too cold up there, Matt. I'm super cold right now, are you kidding me? Well, Matt, this or that. Which bucket do you think he's gonna choose? Okay, she's put almost all of the clothes on the right side. So if I wanna get a piece of clothes back, I have to choose the right side. One of them has clothes, one of them has something else. Or she might be tricking me and has it on the left side. I'm going back to right again, can't go wrong with right. Ooh. Do you guys think he made the right choice? No way. Rebecca, wake up at 3 a.m.? Yep, that's right, Zam Fam, he has to wake up at 3 a.m. way up there. How creepy is that gonna be? And you're soaking wet now, Matt, so enjoy that. I'll be back soon, but have fun up there. Hey, where are you going? Rebecca, I sent a note down to you. You have to do whatever's in the bucket. Dang it, she left. Waking up at 3 a.m., are you kidding me? That means I have to wake up in the middle of the night. I was hoping to sleep really good up here, maybe for the first time in my life, but that's not happening. I have to wake up now. At least I don't have to talk to ghosts or anything, so I'm just gonna open my eyes at 3 a.m. and go back to sleep. Probably the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. Zane fam, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive this much time up here. This is starting to freak me out a little bit, but I don't wanna push that mystery box, whatever's inside of it. It's one of my possessions. I'm gonna try to stick it out and overcome my fear. I know how badly you wanna get your shirt back. Back? No, shirt back. Back? Shirt back, okay, which is why. I have this dare for you. If you can get a ping pong ball into this cup right here, then you'll get your shirt back. And maybe I'll give you a snack. Okay. Like a healthy one. I won't. Oh. Oh, this is really difficult. Is this like the dude perfect challenge? Gotta get my clothes back. Woo! But this is super difficult. All right. Lucky number pink ball. No! What? No! How did you make that? That's right. Toss me up my shirt. It's in here. Wow. Was it in this bucket the whole time? I mean, I left it there. Oh, come on. He doesn't know what's in the other one. You got your shirt, Matt. Yes. But do you want your pants back? I want my pants back. Matt, I know how much you hate being that high up in the air, which is why I've created another challenge for you. You ready to hear it? Let's go. You see all these balloons? Yes. Well, this is Balloon Ninja. I'm going to cut these balloons, and for every one you pop, you get to come down one foot. Yes. However. If you cut none, you stay where you're at. Oh. It's all about facing your fear. Up and here we go. 
Come on, Matt! <laughs> Matt! Do them all at one time! You didn't get any of them! Now they're just floating away. I'm so sorry. I mean, you are the one who is facing your fear, so. Matt, it's time to go fishing from 60 feet up in the air. In this baby pool is a bowl of half punishments, half rewards. Whatever you fish out, you have to do. Oh, I think I got one. Oh, well, there you go. Looks like you got one. Okay, here we go. Is this another prank? What's it say, Matt? Are you kidding me? Throw the bed in the pool? That must suck, Matt, especially because you have to be up at 3 a.m. tonight. With no bed. Hopefully I can make it in the pool. Bye-bye, bed. Woo. That made it a lot more real up here. It's up to you now. Do you want to keep fishing or do you want to just call it a day on the challenge? Okay, I got a punishment, so I'm probably going to get an advantage on this one. Here we go. Anchors away. Oh. Okay, Matt, you didn't quite get in the pool. <gasps> Looks like you got two. Pull them both up. What? Take the lift as high as it goes. It's already at the highest spot. Are you sure about that? Let me see. Oh, oh wait, were you lying? I thought it was at the highest spot. I guess it's going up to 65 feet. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. Read that next card. Rebecca, come on. What? Give your wife a compliment. Oh yeah, I added that one in. What? Is that a punishment or a, an advantage? Just give me the compliment! When I woke up this morning, it was pretty dark outside, but there was one light that was shining and it was you in the bed next to me. That woke me up this morning. That's right, you look so good in the morning. What do you think? I'll take it. Matt, you have three basketballs up there, don't you? Hold on. They should still be up there. Yeah, there's three of them right here. Okay, so you think you're do perfect, right? Well, I mean, I could be. I mean, you did get that golf ball into the cup. It was a ping pong ball, and yes, I did. If you can make a basket over there from where you are, 65 feet in the air. Yeah. Then you can come down right now. Challenge is done. What? You know how far that is? Well, wait. I forgot to mention. If you don't make a basket, then you have a punishment, which I have waiting over there. What? Just in case. Do you guys think he's actually going to make this trick shot? I mean, this is so far. The punishments can't be that bad. Here we go. That was so close. That was pretty close. I thought he was going to get it. Let's see number two. Here we go. Oh, it was on the bounce. Close, Xanthium. The punishments have something to do with 3 a.m. Comment below if you know what they are. I think I got it now. This is the last and final shot. If you don't get this, you get all three punishments. Here we go. I missed it. I'll be right back. Give me more balls, I just try it again. Unfortunately, you did not make any baskets, which means you have to use all three punishment. These are dowsing rods. This is the ghost app. What? Sam Fam is an EMF reader. You have to use all three of these at 3 a.m., which means you'll be communicating with ghosts 65 feet up in the air. And I'm pretty sure what? ghosts fly, so I'm sure there's more up there than down here. Rebecca, you just did me so dirty. Sorry, but enjoy waking up. Do you want to get ready for bed now? or? Just send up the stuff. It's ridiculous. You know what? I understand, I don't, I don't have any snacks, I don't have any water, all of it was just an ice bucket on my head. Sorry, not sorry, Matt. This is how you're gonna face your fear. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Right when the ghost equipment came up here? All right. What if ghosts are doing it? What if they don't want Matt staying 65 feet up in the air because that's their territory? Rebecca, now I have to overcome my fear of that beeping noise. It's three and a half. Yeah. It's way more quiet at night. It's way more scary at night. I need to do the ghost app. Okay, turn on the ghost app right now. I don't see any ghosts yet. I'm gonna start with these dowsing rods. EMF, that's an man. That's what you call an electromagnetic frequency reader. It's supposed to be able to see if ghosts are out here based on the electromagnetic frequency. So, see the, the green means nothing. All the way at the top. I'm trying to see if there's anything. See if we have any any ghosts up here right now. It's electromagnet. Oh, see? Okay, that's because of the phone. Don't be scared. But let's try to talk to ghost using this right now. Ghost, show me yes. Show me no. Okay, am I going to encounter a ghost tonight? Okay. Will I overcome my fear of heights? Okay, ghost you don't know. Thanks a lot, guys. Will I overcome my fear of heights? They do know. Do I need to quit midnight snacking? Okay, I get it. Okay, I'll try to stop midnight snacking, but this is ridiculous. I woke up at 3 a.m. I'm 50 feet up in the air right now. My wife is obviously not out here. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, by now, please join the Matt Slays Club. We're gonna get this thing to 10 million subscribers by the end of the year. I know it. A few coyotes, no big deal. Oh, it's so much scarier at night. Uh, <gasps> card? What does that mean? It said card. 
Okay, this thing is shaking a lot right now. It just said card. I don't see a ghost in here at all, but what does card mean? Comment down below what you think card is. Maybe, maybe Rebecca tricked me with one of the cards, dared me to do this. I'm back to sleep. Good night, ghost. Good night, Zampan. Good night, midnight snack. It's morning. <gasps> oh my gosh. Really super hard. It's been the night in the world's most dangerous bed, but oh, oh man. I made it. Means I can come down. Yes. Glass is a little fogged up right now. Coming down. Close the mystery box. Who's inside that thing? I don't even want to stand up right now. I'm so scared. Yes. Let's see what Rebecca was going to push over the edge. Oh, staying up that high was super hard at night. No way. She was going to smash the Matt Slade's play button. Well, it's Matt and Rebecca, technically. She really wanted me to overcome my fears. Hold on. There's something else in here. What? No way. I couldn't have lived with myself if I had this pushed over. It's, it's Sadie in her first footprint and handprint. My little baby girl. This is the reason why I do everything, so I'm super glad that I was able to overcome my fear of heights and midnight snacking. Maybe this is a good sign for me to put the midnight snacking away for a while and not do that. Make sure that you're subscribed, have notifications on, and watch this video right over here. Give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Let me know what crazy video you want me to do next. Maybe something with Sadie?